And that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Whoa! Loki, right? I gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Through Thor's Doctor. Relax. You've got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. <clears throat> uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh... What kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till Grandfather notices, and then I hope he and my dad can convince Mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. Wait, what? Where? Promise to tell me everything. I promise. Mother, did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this? Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did? Why does he want him here? Mom, come on, you're embarrassing me. We'll talk about this later. You were discussing this in her earshot? Absolute idiot. I, I must have done something wrong. I, I'll get her. Do not. I suggest you go about your business with the all Sorry about her. Moms, right? So, did you want to look around some more, or do you really need to get to work? Someone was trying to poison Thor. Listen, whatever Grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. That's what I told Forsetti. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and, and, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. You're welcome. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. We're more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like... knowledge. Truth. All truth. All the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end, looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Smile there. Obsidione Spitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark, and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. Oh, father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Moose Bahan, the rest of the mask is here? It's where our father dropped us. What do you think? 
Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All Father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms? Let's see what Loki and that shiny toothpick are. <laughs> Oh, Ingrid! Nice move! Slow going, eh? You can maybe help. Up there! It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! <laughs> you can't just grab people like that. No, what else are they gonna do? Throw you? <laughs> Stay young. Yeah, this one's yours. You know, I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my son. But I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? I don't want to keep the all Speaking of which, mask. Right. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you? <sighs> yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Thalmor, Ronair, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled in every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, the last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. I think you could- Don't play. Listen, Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. Hey, kid, where's the mask pointing us? The mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She seemed... Hey, come look at this. Thor, what the... Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Shredder's shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking... Well, 
That's your problem. The trials are just past that cliff. Might be something you would do to do to First, we deal with them. Come on, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? That's right. Just try. You getting tired? You take this the Allfather's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on! Give me a challenge! Now to get to that shrine. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the Ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. Loki. Oh! <laughs> Ingerboda? You know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. But are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's good for them. But it looks like their um, love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. 
I saw that in Groa's shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Oh. Right, that was. There were mountains of corpses by the time I finished. Cut down like a lot of red. Great. You wanna help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father? Believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. I think you're right. Brood wouldn't. She'd be faring better than you, at least. You could have done that at any time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. So, where to? Let me check. Looks like we need to head through that gate. Thor? Ain't that impressive. Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. No! No! Ah! Damn it! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you, too. What did you do? Loki. The rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, oh, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. 
If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. Hey, you're back. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah, I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from grandfather's study? Oh yeah, her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow, all father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. But I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encourage his foolishness. It's confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? 
I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More than once. But believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another. For your own sake. Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. How would Atreus get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madame Nethode's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another longtime tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. 
pay herself. Had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nina certainly seems better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. You're so loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. Hold on. What's this way? Let us find out. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. <laughs> Quiet. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard and Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Yeah. Raider, left flank! Fire, right flank! What's your oh. right? Magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. <laughs> As I was saying, the Norn's home is called the Well of Urd. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. Never mind that. Time to fight. 
Drog a hole. I see it. Fredo, are you okay? She was called. I'm trying to remember which god raised her dander up. It does not matter. Doesn't it? If rage is all that remains, her reasons are irrelevant. <laughs> Telling you about the Well of Earth, where the Norns dwell. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these Norns? Not personally. Say is right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Fair, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the norm? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate which only made me more determined to try. This is the area. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? Thank you. You won't believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. <coughs> the wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abuse their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. Defend the peace. I remember the Jotner crafting these bracers for two statues. They chose only their most talented and accomplished to do the job. You have a good memory, Freya. Like Tyr, the Jotnar also believe the best offensive strategy is a good defense. 
So, this is how they chose to honor him. The Giants were not wrong. We don't have the equipment for this. Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent, but cruel. It sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Opna. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. minds yet. He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts of your mind will be real too. This place almost looks familiar, but different. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. <laughs> Freya of the Van. Master of magics. Queen of the Valkyries. Witch of the Woods. Fridge of Asgard. Destroyer of all you would hope to protect. <laughs> she always finds somebody to blame. She cannot change. <laughs> Mamir of the Aesir. Ah, here we go. Counselor to kings. Mary Wanderer of the Woods, Robin of the Good Fellows. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot the smartest man alive. Well, 
Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! <laughs> Oh, that looks official. Mother. My boy. I feel everything. Walter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Walter, come back! Talk to me! <laughs> Try to stop him any way I could. Just lie! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought his favor! You wanted his wars! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a day until you turned on! I know, Secret. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Grumma? Or to Tanya? No! You only took the side of the blue and then you used it! Mother, watch out! There's more of us! Even now, you see a fire gun in the evening, you can't help but hate him and call him brother! And who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! No! Why didn't you trust your own son? Come on, take him! He's a bad guy! I'm not safe with him!
it's over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lochs by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see. What all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. 
Again, he misses the point. <laughs> Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. <sighs> he stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is, how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall. And no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently, my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. The father's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Valder, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norms. <laughs> Let us find a gateway, return home, consider our plans. Listen, brother, before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Another gravestone. 
But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor-made for the help we found. I was afraid of that. Frank needs a zealot! Kill the king! <laughs> 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 Favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Namir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. The Oarsmen. Ugh. A monument of conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. Mamir, <laughs> look. Another Fjotelund marking. Aye, this place must have been part of Sigrun's kingdom. A first outpost preceding further expansion. Mamir, what did those runes say? Sigrun. She loved another. King named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Mamir. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Suppose I did. talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact. That must be Tyr's helmet from his statue. Win mines, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days. <laughs> Brother, about the oracles of your land. Would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first. But in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Would that be a specific experience, brother? Hmm. Once, I sought the Oracle for a means to break my bondage to Ares. One priestess had visions that showed her Olympus would be brought to ruin by the god of war. Brother! Look. Isn't that the spear from Tyr's statue? <laughs> huh. 
wish for peace, be ready for war. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. I always admired the love Tyr inspired. Where I come from, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No, they are not. Brother, can we get back to what you were saying about the Oracle of your homeland? She had visions of Olympus being brought down. Yes, by the god of war. Therefore she helped me, intending to undermine Ares and protect her realm. She did not foresee that I would kill him and take his office. In the end, I proved her vision of doom correct. So the Oracle herself brought about the very future she hoped to avoid. I suppose we're in fine company at that. back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them. I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, word gets around about that sort of thing. Sad to see Sigrun's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Mimir, if you want to take a tour of the kingdom, you might not like everything you find. Oh, she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yeah, there certainly are. King Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrun and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrun and I spent with each other, she never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. Power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. <laughs> I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Betos is brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic. Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time. I was going to say brutality. That works. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lost right into this building, apparently. 
All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. Well done. Rude. It was not intentional. Oh, sure. Ah! Together again. Mamir, does this look like an abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. It's Sigrun's family quest. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that wall. Oh no. Here sits Prince Daga. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Daga? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How do you end up like that then? Yeah? Why wouldn't you answer me? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. So, these are the Valing schematics, eh? You know of him? Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Freya, how was Sigrun when you saw her last? She's still incorporeal, ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the Lindworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of lean words will be a walk in the park. Well then, what else, friends? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. 
Not all gods show the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Until we meet again. They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. This will be of use. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. you little one. Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... The lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady. No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you could see you out there.
Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I have to. heard him. Quit your Fred. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, right. Right side! Abandoned service tunnel. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But. Oh dear. It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. 
I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> Shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yogar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wouldn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right, let's get that wheel turning. Ah, teamwork. Well, he's ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. <sighs> when we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Falky! Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Well, so much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find. Hey, try sticking your hand in that thing. I'll have you know that was... 
Pludger when we found it. Sure it was. <laughs> Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger! I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. They seen us. Big boomer coming up. Finally, now we can ride on up to the fort. Come on, the lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Don't go stone. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. Yeah. Ooh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See, dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> hey, Bunker! Come on! Ah! No. Thank you! Look at him! So this lady, then? The Lady of the Forge. Ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Nokin. But Sindri had never had it, said I was too uncouth. <laughs> but today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Ah, oh, fuck, Knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. 
You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. The only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pulled her off. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's on to the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand.
Scout Infector, almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving it. Look! We got volunteers! <laughs> 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 myself. what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative over here. Oh, lick my spit! There's a hole to stall him! Get your throwing arm in here! <laughs> 
the more you take away. <laughs> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> hey, good eye. That would get you right up there. The beer must be talking to yourself. Figuring stuff out faster than I can teach. Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. <laughs> it's all about the proper angle with those puppies. You want it straight on. One of these old children. <gasps> Put you in the trap. Hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. <laughs> Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those grim will take him down. Nope. I'm right here, you bastards! Let go already! <laughs> Set up shop over yonder. Oh, oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as... I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. 
You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid, you really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Hmm. So this drop near spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard Ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. Hold on. Prepare for battle. Back in the field of Kalan. Fucking me! Witches! Fall before me! Godling! <laughs> 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 
Wasting my breath over. His berserker champions, even less so. Trash. The lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before, there was nothing to be done. But finding that hilt changed things. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon. No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big, gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Are you all right? Not the first time I've had an Aesir threat in my life. But? Thinking I'd like it to be the last. Ah. With the mining rigs disabled, it seems a bit fresher out here. Not seems. Is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. Memory serves. We're heading in the right direction to find that large dwarven statue. Dunlin's hammer shouldn't be far behind. <laughs> in one piece after all this time. Unlike Durlin's resistance, I suppose. We will take this to him. Meeting the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. I remember very fondly a late nymph called Nimnu. Very talented with a sword. Malia. I meant that literally. Shame on you. She made the best swords in all the Isles and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. Freya, you mentioned that Thimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I had it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I'm no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well, Sigrun must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I guessed? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. 
but help me just the same. I came by and took out an Ain Hair Yard patrol. Area should be clear. Can't speak for the rest of town. Guess an occupying army is as good as a lockdown for tamping down foot traffic. <sighs> you again. I hope you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but... Hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. Your hammer. Thanks! <sighs> Might not mean much with Odin's goons stomping around the city, but folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. <sighs> Never expected to see this thing again. Derwin. Kratos! Sorry about earlier. Talking about your wife like that. Do not be. No! Let me apologize. Feeling the old father's spear in your back makes a man want to set things right. Your silence on the matter is enough. Ah, if you say so. Ned, ah, uh, lungs. That, no, that's rubbish. What? Brock's bloody riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? I can't let that blue twat beat me. If you are this upset, he already has. Brock, when you knew Faye, she... Let me stop you right there, killer. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. It's just how it's gotta be. Why do you stare? He's gonna be fine, you know. I do not. He's getting what he needs. He is in danger. And being with you, he was safe as houses, huh? Never got close to dying. Not even once? I did not come to you for a lecture. I know. It's on the house. My new customer loyalty program. We will speak no more of it. What is this? Ravens. The ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. New father. New mother. New fate. To suffer. In life we hanged. In death we kneeled. Until you freed us. With your steel. So destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free? Well, free of Odin's control, anyway. Now, let's see which armpit of Muspelheim that seed leads to, huh? Brock's riddle. Could the answer be... nothing? What gets bigger the more you take away? Nothing. Uh, I don't think so, brother. Hmm. I do not like riddles. You wouldn't be able to turn down having another crack at these combat trials. How about that? The sea did lead us to Sutter's Gauntlet. What do you know of the trials? Oh, just your usual Muspelheim challenges of violence and slaughter. 
Rumor was it's Surtur's way of honing his blades, but I think he's just as much a sucker for blood sport as the rest of us. An ash petal. You have an interest in botanicals now? Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. There he is! Hey! Come show off the spear! See what we done! Now do the thing! Oh, look at that! She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am... tired. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? For some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything proceeded as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. Become a whole motif. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
Pero's. You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe serene here. The game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. <sighs> Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> Think. The mighty god of war, frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Uh. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Through. Hey. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, it didn't. That didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this. And, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And, uh, Atreus, see you later. And Throod, bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. <laughs> the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later. Thor's room. Everyone back home would freak if they knew I was in here. Wait, what am I doing in here? You don't understand. It's a lot more complicated than you think. You don't need to know why things are done. You just need to accept, but I'm old enough. This isn't about your age. Then what is it about? Because by this point, Magni and Modi were set on the path that led to their death. I don't understand. You never try to. Then help me. Why are you so intent to walk the same path? And with that boy, no less. It's not about him. I just, this is my dream. Haven't you ever? You're not some farmhand. We're Aesir. We have duties, not dreams. And you need to start acting like it. Sometimes I hate you. Huh. Not here. Maybe Odin's down in this library. I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? 
<laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. I finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? First giant. Tell me, can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? He was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust you. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside, and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this, and I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear. On <laughs> My last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's got to be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention, Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau. To keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? Vermeer said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Rude. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. <sighs> now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. Here's your chance. For the record, I believe you fought the Valkyries. I just don't believe it was Grandfather who corrupted them, or that he caused the desolation in Midgard, or that he had all the giants killed. Am I missing anything? 
Uh, lots actually. More Hellwalkers! I got this! What? I'm just supposed to walk? No way! <laughs> Wow, this is really good. I gotta say, I don't think these warriors are very hard to do. Loki, watch out! Well, what other heinous crimes has my grandfather committed? Let's see. He decimated Vanahan, tortured Tyr, murdered Groa, murdered Amir. It goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Freya and Namir told me. Oh, so his traitorous ex-wife and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap or you're a hypocrite for helping him. Can we just focus on the mission? Throod. My father wasn't always the person he is now. But he changed. Maybe Odin can too. I know how hard it is to hear this stuff, but... You should know the truth. What you choose to do with it, that's up to you. Dead end. This is where the mask said to go? What's it say? Let's double back. We'll find a way around. See? More Hellwalkers! That means we're headed the right way. I got this. Uh-huh, sure you do. Hey, we're okay, right? I guess. Maybe our families are just meant to be enemies. Well, not us. I don't believe that. What I do believe is that you'll make a great Valkyrie. I'll tell your mom the same thing. Even if she scares the life out of me. Now, we have a mask piece to find. No way through up here either. Now what? I'm not sure. But my gut's telling me what we need is here. Jump! It fell through the floor! Could be our way up. Let's head back down and find out. And this way is blocked too. There has to be another way. Keep your eyes peeled. Go. Let's go. What's the mask say? So the mask's pull is a little weird with all these buildings in the way, but I think we're going the right way. You think? <laughs> Wait, so this way? Uh, sure. Are you messing with me? I need this to go well. I need my family to see what I can do. I know. We both do. Uh, looks like it's through here. Let me get that for you. Fighting me. See anything in there? Get off there. Nice. Whatever you shot crashed through the floor again. Let's head back and check it out. So, I talk about my mom a lot. What's your dad like? He's intense. 
Like he's trying to force me into this mold. But I'm not sure that's me. Oof. Well, I know exactly what he's like. Thing is, I don't know what I want. I love that you do. You'll figure it out. Which way? The mask showed it was straight ahead earlier. Of course the way's blocked. Maybe they're trying to keep people out. Or something in. I bet there's another way around. There always is. Sweet! So, how'd you know you wanted to be a Valkyrie? I didn't always. After a bad fight with Mom, I snuck out and found them training. Somehow, every movement they made had such purpose, like they knew exactly where they needed to be. And in that moment, so did I. So, where to now? Uh, looks like it's through here. So training gave me... Too heavy? Shut up. Something's blocking it. I'll take a look, but I want to hear the rest. Deal. Let's see. Not bad. I know. As I was saying, seeing the Valkyries fight, all the strength and style, no apologies. It gave me clarity. For the first time, I saw my path forward, clear as day. Two bad giants have to follow prophecy. Who cares? Make your own path, just like we've been doing here. Step aside, little man. It looks like it. I wish we could get past that. Let's get through here. But it's blocked. What if I move this? Aha! Can you get up there? See if you can find a way to cut the crate down on the other side. I'll wait here. I don't have a fancy way up like you do. Got it. Ingrid, was I too rude about her grandfather? She should know the truth, right? Yeah, guess so. Hey, you talking to me? Uh, no, just talking to Ingrid. Okay, well, I'm waiting. Let's see. Why can I get a better view of that crate? Galpha! You did it! Better get back. That's open. Let's go. Whoa, the mask is freaking out. We must be close. <laughs> what was that? Don't look at me. You're the one who's been here before. It's probably nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. So close. Besides, I don't think it's dangerous. Are we looking at the same thing? Maybe he's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. Look, he just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right, let's start with the lock not near its teeth. There we go. Heavy 
sleeper. Let's do the next. was another one under his foot. You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. Down in the water or something? There's... How? It's not responding anymore. This has never but happened. you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Through. Wait up. Maybe we missed it. Maybe it's back here somewhere. Through. Through. It's... It's gonna be okay. How can you say that? I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the piece. You absolute, unqualified moron! You know that thing tears holes between realms, right? <laughs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less from half-breeds. Don't call me a half- <laughs> I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? <sighs> you see, everyone takes it easy on you because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter piece of trash! <laughs> Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. <laughs> you have a lot to learn, little girl. Starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> Oh. You really believe the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! No! <clears throat> so close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Well, uh, you toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the author. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Hoogan! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. 
Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away, sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar, I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving. If we could only somehow harness your uselessness, we could fuel this entire city. Fine. It's all on me. Just leave her out of it. I don't need your help, Loki. Sorry. Save it for the Allfather. We have a lot to discuss. Loki, I'll meet you in your room when I'm finished here. Shouldn't be long. Okay. My mission went quite well, Allfather. Secured the item we've discussed. The mask, on the other hand, well, <laughs> they are merely children. The adults need to talk now, Loki. Run along. Thanks a lot. Throod, I... I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I don't really want to talk right now. I really messed up. It's times like this I really miss home. Ingrid, did you have a home before you came here? Someone who took care of you? That sounds like a yes. Maybe I could help you find them without, you know, screwing it up. Sound like a plan? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm, <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard, but everywhere else, I think I want to go home now. Okay. If that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Please, I need to go. Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugen will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. I thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. Odin was right. Freeing Garm. How did I screw up so bad? Okay. Guess it's time to face him. No running away this time. Almost home. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Oh, 
No, no. It's you. Wait. It's you. Protect yourself. Here. Got you. Atreus, watch out. Where's Bonnie? Trying to find a way to you. Do you mind? We're being attacked no. right now. Break off and help me close these pairs. Tell me when. Lassa Rifa. Lassa Rifa. Lassa Rifa. Lassa Rifa. Father! Off your back. Help Freya. I will draw them to me. Over. No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? Just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. Quit your blubbering. It's all my fault. The Hellwalkers... They're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and... And I set him free. I, I thought that if... Garm! Great bleeding fuck lad, you freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we will fix together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. One problem. Excuse I'm not sure I have a way back to Avalon. Perhaps the squirrel does. I need to speak with you at once. At once, I say. Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without further delay. I implore you, 
Return to Helheim post haste and undo whatever it is you've done. And do try not to fuck up. Aren't you gonna, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved. You are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where'd the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? A... ring. But what's its story? I do not know. You were not there to ask. long time. We can't hurt him, okay? A desperate creature can be the most dangerous. I know. Come on, we gotta get across before he opens up more realm tears. <laughs> not working with him. It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. Your work for Odin. You said it is hard to explain. Why? I just need you to trust me. I know I have no right to ask. Can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? Why do you have a new weapon? I thought you didn't have more. I do not. But... It's complicated. Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear. Realm tear. Arm's been busy. I think I understand how Freya closed one. Keep the enemies away if you can. I can. Let me know when you're ready. <sighs> I bet if we follow those Hellwalkers up there, we find Dawn. Next up, Thanks for coming back with me. You didn't have to. I am your father. I will always help, as long as I am able. Well, that's good to hear, too. Tell me, what were you doing in Asgard? I was translating things for Odin. There's this mask he found and a magical rift that's connected to it. It's all sort of... Complicated. Yeah, but I met people my age there. Made friends. I think we're still friends. You cannot trust those loyal to Odin. It's not always bad to trust people. It compromises your judgment. Maybe, but I'm tired of feeling alone. Atreus, I... Let's just figure out how this gate works, okay? I know I can't trust him, but I needed his help. We can't let Ragnarok happen either. 
I would have helped you. No, but... Wait! He's right here! Okay! Okay! It's okay, boy! It's alright. Just calm! Calm! We, we just wanna... Peace through here. If Odin truly wishes to avoid Ragnarok, then we are in agreement. Yeah? Then what's that spear for? To protect you. Don't you have other weapons for that? <laughs> A traveler. I hate fighting these guys when they're alive. Preparing for Ragnarok. And seriously, why the spear? I share. It's your turn. We are not the same. I am the parent. You're ducking the question. We're close. Promise me you won't kill him, okay? I make no promises, but I will try not to kill the beast. What is your plan? I'm sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Varm. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. I'll distract Garm. You freeze his chains with your axe so we can't run in. Latch him onto something. No. Too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Wait. Transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, we do it my way. Yes, sir. Why didn't that work? You didn't mess up on purpose, did you? Now, who does not trust? Sorry, that wasn't fair. I just... I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. <laughs> I think I hear him up ahead. We do this my way now. 
guess your way means... It means what you think it means. Can't we try and... We have the power to limit the harm this creature can cause. We can use it. Okay. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Come on. Come on. I 
sought the Norns. They told me Heimdall intended to kill you in Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe in that. The dead will keep flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? Watch out! We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir could... Change its nature. Yeah, let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that.
You're okay. Sorry I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it. Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets. No. A promise. Something that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to mom? Hmm. See what I can do when you trust me? Oh. should inform the others. Decide our next move. So, when the Nords told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me, that's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Alka. Father, if you can't trust the faith, why do you care what they say? I can take no chances. There's six tears to close, and, uh, not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and before.
without you? I got reckless. Overconfident. Made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Atreus. I am sorry. Don't be sorry, father. Be better. <laughs> Let's go home. Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. back. How did it go? We should travel us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. 
They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandre? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You are right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tiara. I believe you just might. You are well. <laughs> Take more than a port full of bone jawed stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear! Nudged more like it. Hey, wait. We're with you. <laughs> now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not a Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or, just as brutally, raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother. I know you didn't have an easy <laughs> child, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. Wait. Let us look this way. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. You think that means... Another half, Gufa. Did the Light Elves put this lock here? Why would they care what happened to the Baron? When we were in Vanaheim, Big Bear and Bela spoke of this place. They said it was forbidden. Went on about uncovering some secret history. Secret history? Sounds like your kind of adventure. Aye. That's what I said. Another storm awaits. Yeah, but at least now we know how to end it. So, once we free both Hofgufas and end all the storms, then what? Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hofgufa. The scars of conflict are woven into the very fabric of the realm. 
I have to believe in the long run we're doing right by Alpine. But, well, what's your father always saying in this situation? Keep your expectations low, and you'll never be disappointed. Wise words. Look at all these books. An archive of knowledge. I don't see any light elves around. For now. Maybe they've left for the day. And we can browse at our leisure. Another one of Duvalin's diagrams. You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves. So he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the old father found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. <laughs> Looks like the ancient elves wrote a lot. And none of the light or dark elves have seen any of this? Seems like stuff they want to read. Swathma! Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Use a shield strike, brother! <laughs> 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 She thinks she's protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. gonna end that way. Last we traveled here, when the Dark Elf King attacked us. The ramifications were dire for his people. We will not make the same mistake twice. I've heard before, but I'm glad we're doing this. The sandstorm just feels wrong for Alphar. Aye. Hearing the song of the sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Not once we free this other half, Gufa. It'll be a duet. What is this place? It doesn't look like a dark elf cave. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. Amir, the last time we were in Alfheim, this hive stuff was all over the rock. <laughs> Natural. They're choking the life out of everything. Even the light itself. It looked that way because you're not from this realm, lad. To the Dark Elves, the hive is more natural than that faultless, lily-white column in the center of the well. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our crap <laughs> aquifer, for that matter. You have a point. I'd like to believe I always do. <sighs> What are the Light Elves doing down here? Isn't this Dark Elf territory? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim. Also it appears. Big VR did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Oops. Watch out! <laughs> 
two half goofas free, are they gonna be able to uh, make more? Almost certainly. A bittersweet spectacle, considering the cost. The cost? Aye. The adults' light fades as they pass it on to their offspring. Hold on. Are you saying they have to die to have kids? They don't have to, but the more light they give, the higher the chance of their offspring's survival. Damn. That's... Wow. It is what parents do. Really? All parents are supposed to die for their children? It is what I would do. Well, here it is. Guess it's time to free it. You don't seem particularly happy about it, Lyle. We're freeing them only for them to die. It doesn't seem fair. Life seldom is. But their sacrifice will allow their children to thrive. And they will die contented. I had thought about it like that. I just... If I were one of the children, I wouldn't want them to. I know, son. But it is the only choice they can make. Nice. That loosened it up a bit. to the surface, then. The fate of these creatures it reminds me of a story. Yeah? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such power. So the blacksmith used the flame Father, of... Father, it's okay. What is okay? You don't have to... Look, I know I get sad about this kind of stuff, but it doesn't mean I won't be okay, you know? Yes. So, what happened with the blacksmith? His daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died, trying to protect her from those who would open it. You're not gonna have to do that for me. I know, but I would. This one's all yours, brother. You know what? Never mind. Wow. The Song of the Sands. Well, didn't know I could get misty. It's beautiful. Thanks, Father, for doing all this. I know it doesn't solve everything, but it feels like we helped. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? Peace now, Peace is difficult after centuries of conflict. It must be found in its own time, from within. It cannot be forced. But Mom helped you find peace, right? How 
the elf's supposed to change if no one shows them the way? Your mother. She trusted me. Gave me the space to find my own way. But you are right, Atreus. She was my guide. Our actions in Alfheim may not bring peace. But by ending the storm and bringing light back to this land, perhaps we have planted the seeds. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sounds like I'm rubbing off on you, brother. It is possible. Namir, you were explaining how bad it got for Magni and Modi being raised by Thor and Sif while they were drinking. I want to understand. Well, imagine learning discipline by having flashed into you time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. A poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him. But I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. <laughs> Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi that night he found us. Oh, that's a deft guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them. Truly. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? To Freyr's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. 
My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. Their presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any boards. <laughs> I think he's really forgiven me for shooting him. Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting mm -hmm. loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Vanaheim <laughs> looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim. But there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. He grows. I like it. Hey, now you are we're here. Stay alert. Wonder where they went. Eaten by a knockin', perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freya and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a light elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. He's okay. Amir, you once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. <laughs> Prophecy. <laughs> Which after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. <laughs> but Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einar Yar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <laughs> uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right, well... 
Best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Yainer Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill him. That's nice. I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Here we go. Uh... Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. <laughs> Being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! Ambush? Okay. You see that coming? She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Still up there. Another ambush? Really? That changed the charm. They are not smart. I and there's that. <laughs> you know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So. Doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. 
Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. <laughs> I timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. They have a gift for us. 
way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army? Like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. We can get across from up here. So, we report back to Hilda's Fini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. Ooh, ooh. She's a blossinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate ooh. tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Your fire blades are looking a little cool. <laughs> Hand them over. I knew we'd left something behind. Oh, hi. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cutie pie. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. The fuse has been wrong with a growing boy. Once you see the signal, count it down. Don't change the ding dang time of day. Okay, well, that's impressive. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to New York's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Vigir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Last. 
They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. <laughs> Careful, Bob. You're covered in Bifrost. <laughs> 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 the Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? <sighs> Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive. Alas, poor Neathog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Just make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Hurry, Kratos. They're all waiting on us. What? No! Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! Oh, if it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. 
Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this, but we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Whoa! What did Ghoul Toe forever do to you? Not going to lie! I was disappointed! What now, brother? The spear remains our best chance. Like father, like son. You actually hit me! Slow down! Spare me out of pity. <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him. This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. You do not get to decide 
my fate! You are dead, sunshine. Kratos, that was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. can make it. We need to move. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow. Easy. To me. Follow. We, uh, got company back here. Oh, no. Archers ahead. Oh, seriously? Nice job, by the way. Hey, 
I'm a trade. You okay? Hi. No. Just hold on. Gotta be close, right? On your right! Keep going! We're almost at the river! Oh, How about the girl? Where's the boat? Throw it in the river. Hurry now. That won't hold them for long. Oh, of course. Steve brought me here. Freya's boat. They will regroup. We should go. seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. That's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. 
We'll see. He... <clears throat> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Wherever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Prophecy holds that Galahorn is the Herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Holds it, Treus. We will discuss in private. I'm sorry, love. Biru is the one who found me wounded in the jungle when I was trying to find my way back here. Watched over me as I slept. I never thanked him. If you want to thank him, don't get captured again. Promise. I promise, love. I'm no is dead. Good. Is it? Look, I don't know from fate, but I know Heimdall was a prize-winning taint stain with the capital stamp. If he was gonna hurt your boy, it's a good thing he ain't around no more. The Norns didn't quite see it that way. The opinion of them three shut-in spinsters ain't worth a goat fart in a hurricane. You did what you did. Hope you and your loin sprout ain't got any holes where you don't want them. We are fine. Oh, honey, you don't have to worry about him. Gave him a once over just as soon as Freyr was patched up and on his way. Did you, you know? now? <laughs> we found the Consul's journal. Thank you, Kratos. It is exactly what we were hoping for. The Consul risked everything to understand the mistakes of our past. And now those lessons can live on. Thank you, Kratos. The Elves and we won't forget this. They aren't liable to forget all the bloodshed between them, either. There's a path towards peace for all of us. Nobody said this would be easy. <sighs> What does that mean? Helka smells something. It could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Helka's. Where are you leading us, girl? So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Look! Tracks from the olfactorily gifted hound. Seems we're on the right path. Hey, girl! We're here! Guess we should follow her. Oh, 
Prince. Little slobber balls, quite the tracker. More of Helka's tracks. I dare say she's got as skilled a nose for hunting as you, brother. Hers is superior. The eyes can lie. The nose cannot. Does that make you wish you could turn into an animal every once in a while? No. And there she goes. Ah, she went over that ridge. But we can't follow her at this time of night. Back now, Halka. I'll take it from here. How could Birger have survived a fall like that? Magic, perhaps. Let's make sure to ask once we've extricated him from this situation. Should be easy to find Birger from up here. Why'd everyone sound so scared of this place? Uh, on that note... Dragon! I'm fine. You? Hmm. Well, he seemed angry. What do you suppose that means? We are going the right way. Where are we, anyway? Looks to be the ruins of a once thriving Vanier settlement. What happened? Don't rightly know. More reason to find a way out. Signal! Bugger's alive! Not for long if that dragon has its way. It will not. Do you see what I'm seeing? A lightning bolt. Except... it's... frozen? Like the one made in my fight with Thor. But why would there be one just like it here in Vanaheim? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
Gotta find beer here. Over here. Oh, many thanks. No, thank you. You saved us back on the boat. Right, Father? It was foolish. And appreciate it. There's a mystic gateway nearby, but I have no stone for it. We do. I can't believe you survived that fall. How'd you do it? I rolled. <laughs> Talk later. Big man! Boss needs your help coaxing this stag back to the world tree. The boss needs your help, mind you. Not me. I'm doing great. Got a belly full of stag feed, living life, but yeah. Talk to him back to the round between rounds when you got a moment. see you back at the camp. And under different circumstances, one hopes. Well, with Birger safe, we can get out of here. Or explore some more, if you wanna. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's... I will bet you, you couldn't hit this child with that axe if you tried. Done. Well, well, look who made progress finding lean words. <laughs> no go on now, ring the chime, show the boss what you got. I smell lean worm on you. <laughs> I do, it stinks. Quit missing around and come ring the chime. She's the best. Oh! You're back. The heroes of the hour. I want to hear everything. I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because you make things better. You always have. Since... Since we were kids, I find a new way to get into trouble. And you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. Do you know... <clears throat> do you know we used to leave Vanaheim? Together? When we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, she did the leading. I just... tried to keep things fun. <laughs> Leadership. Not really my strong suit, let's be honest. <laughs> really? Your group back in Vanaheim seems pretty devoted. Well... I can inspire people, <laughs> I guess. 
Yeah, you get them to see the best in themselves, you know? I don't know if that's leadership. It's more like, um... Like a muse? Wait. Like... Like a what? A muse. Father told me about that. In his homeland, they inspired all kinds of artists. What? I love that. That's a job? Well, why don't we have that? Oh, man. I could totally do that. I think they were all goddesses, though. Well, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. I... I would be a natural. Oh. What were we talking about? Ingvi, you must rest. You understand? You must. Please, just stop talking. Okay, I'm sorry. But someone was gonna fill us in on what happened with Heimdall, right? Is that what's happening? Patience. This will be of use. Love. What now? The riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? Love. What kind of chub buffling relationships you been in, Amir? That don't make any sense. Agreed. Oh, fun. I won't be lectured on the nature of a romance by the two of you duffers. Uh, yeah, it's bigger the more you take away. I, uh... Hey, you think so? Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody! Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go. Back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Joyce. You are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From up. Tactical perspective. Am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise.
You too. I hope you know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And therein lies a tale. Trace, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Indri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. All right, Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. I lad, wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir, I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. Here we go. you were having a moment, I can go. No, sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. And where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Ingerboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Good night, boy. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Okay. Right. I 
just gotta help Odin complete the mask. But also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in a study. <sighs> Hey, so uh, time. sorry for interrupting. <laughs> You're not interrupting anything. Forsetti's investigating, so the truth will come out soon enough. I hope it does. You'd better go. Okay. Panic does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I mean, you know, he did sock through it pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? Got even? I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird, find Thor. We're going to Niflheim. too. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. Uh, hi, Sif. Do you know where I can find Thor? All Father is sending us on another mission. Why would I tell you where to find anyone I cared about? Look. It's fine if you don't like me or trust me or whatever. But I want you to know that you're hurting her. Excuse me? Druid's gonna be a Valkyrie one way or another. You know that. If you don't stand with her, you're gonna lose her. You may be working with Allfather and enjoying his little bubble of protection. But stay out of my family's business. Enjoy your freedom while you still have it. Maybe I should stop by my room. It might be a while before I can fix up my equipment again. Through? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Shut it. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I did think she was gonna choke me with her hair. I'm honestly surprised she didn't. Thanks, Loki. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. 
Come on. They're not gonna let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so... If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. Why are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the Allfather... Quiet! He's right. You should get going. <laughs> Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with his face. isn't you. Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... Uh, what? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... Uh. That's enough! Oh, how I've missed this! And he's still back! Oh, are you so hard 
Arms. Let's get him out of here. Yes, get fight. <gasps> I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, no, that's fine. Really. <sighs> hey, I'm strong, but you've got to help me out. It's not that far. Get up. Ah, Thrudy. You are going to Niflheim with Loki, all father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... We're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. Get you a water or something? Fine. Let's make this quick. You in a hurry to get back to Asgard? Just get us to that mask piece.
Was it worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, but I hope you know what seeing you like that hits me. I was drunk, not blind. Why can't we just fly over these guys straight to the mat? You think I want to carry you all that way? You're strong! I'm not your pack Who looks up to you? I hope you know that. Don't need a lecture about parenting from you. Just find the thing. Looks like we gotta head through that wall. Do Something you wanna... I need to do first. <laughs> Take your time. Now we can go. Loki, you really keep trying to... I don't even know what you're trying to do anymore. But you have no idea the kind of shit I can do. Right. Have giant son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that's like? <laughs> Neat trick. <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no bonding over shared blood. Okay. I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. So we've got some similar life experience. What does it matter? It seems stupid to gripe about the things we can't change. Who says we can't? Again with the griping. Calling out a problem isn't griping. It's helping. I bet you're glad I'm helping so much this time around. Elsa. You're welcome. I will say the sword's doing work over there. You're lucky she's helping too. <laughs> Through there, just ahead. This will be fun. Well, I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. So, this will be fun. 
Up this way. Looks like there's a path. One pathway coming up. You enjoying the freedom? Out here without Fabio looking over your shoulder. I, uh, well, yeah, I guess. It's different from what I'm used to, in a good way. Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. I think we... No thinking. It's better when I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> so, we're close? Uh, maybe. I can check. Thor, I, um, hope everything goes okay when you see Sif and Thud again. Well, hoping's better than thinking. It's a start. here. We did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the All-Father's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? You... You killed me. 
My son. Sleep in their beds. Turn my father against me. My daughter. I have no idea what's happening. You know, I finally thought of something I can teach you. Hey! You stand me. down! Sentry better be right. Where are you? Sindri, you sure know how to plan an exit. Atreus. Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait. Why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh. Thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Mimir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm. Everybody. Hey, hey, you made it. I'll get to here. Join us at the table if you're ready to stay. Oh, see? I told you the key would get him home. Because you tapped oh. it with a hammer. Dwarven magic makes no sense. Right? Luna one time made me a breastplate out of dog barks. You're I back. I still can't figure that one out. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But if you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure. Just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe. Even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice. Now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please, just think about it. This mask. The easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus, you have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. This is my purpose. One last time, I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me, but if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? That's not that a fair question, brother. You was held Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. 
If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Mm. Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it! It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where, then? Let me collect my things, and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Rock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Brock, it's OK. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey, I'm talking to you. You never shut up. Brock! Of all the things, Odin. Let go of the boy and face me. Tell your brother to throw me the mask and you've got a deal. Stop moving. Freya, if he dies... Now, now. It wasn't part of the plan, but if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frigg. Hey! I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything, you'll regret. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. Rushwatson! I am in control! Here! Throw me the mask! Now! Too bad, son. Looks like war after all. Please, you have to save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop me. I know what you've done, and I forgive you. But you gotta stop. You gotta let go. Bro. This whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin and anyone who gets in our way. You can't run away from this, Kratos. Odin won't stop until we stop him. We need you here!
Father, where are we going? Home. Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. What do we hunt? Deer. Which way we headed, lad? In... the direction of deer. to speak of what happened. I think I heard something. This way. He just needs space. Here. Tracks. They're leading that way. Atreus, violence changes us. You are not weak to feel its effects. We're all feeling its effects. We're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. I keep seeing it. The knife, rock, Sentry's face. Son. There it is. <gasps> Elbow up. Accuracy. Over speed. Why? That was running. And so are we. I don't understand. An animal is wounded. It must stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded in this. This is a distraction. It's my fault. No. We should find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Lead. Is it okay if we take the sleds? I need to think about what I'm going to say to him. Of course.
Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is not punishment. Feels like it. If I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all. Stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. Swanna, it's Becky. Take the sled when you're ready. Here's Temple. That's where we're headed. Ah! Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Hendry did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like Brock's, leaves its corporeal form. Well, it can't reach the Lake of Souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. I know. It was stupid of me to help in the first place. I miss when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. I will follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you want to sail, do it toward somewhere. The lift at the end of the bridge is still work. We can get up to the temple that way. Brother, we really should be heading ah! to the temple. Yes. What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. Sindri, I... I'm so sorry. No. No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. 
Could that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. Oh. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship. My home. My secrets. My treasures. And you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We... There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... Is get the fuck out of my sight! Come on, Chase. Leave it be. More than you wish. family too. feel better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. When we get back, we're... We really are going to war. It has come to that. Yes. When we were back in Svartalfheim, looking for Tyr, this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know, Atreus. We know. We really took everything from Sindri. Don't take to heart words said in grief, Atreus. No matter how spot on they feel. I know we should go see Freya. But... I wouldn't mind staying here in Midgard. For a little while. Aye. A few last adventures to take our minds off the state of... Well, everything. Freya will still be at the house. Don't see why not. Odin's back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake Tear to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tear's desire for peace and mine.
You're back. Are you with us? Mm. Good. It's time. Time for what, did I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail. Or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not subtle. Go on. It means we enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means... We need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call. Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Surtur. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. But just like that, unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in all fun. And you, to Valheim? Yes, to find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. No Niflheim, no Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. So be it. Good luck to us all. to Muspelheim to find the last fire giant. I almost envy everyone else's impossible mission. Well, that's a quality spear, but, uh, could be pointier. Hey, y'all, uh, I just wanted you to know if you need anything at all, I'll be around. Either here or at Brock and Sidri's old shops. Yeah, I know we're all busted up inside today but you know i for one like to keep busy you said you know where to look for serta yeah i unlocked the secrets in the shrine when i was in muspelheim with thor thor don't worry he didn't see me go in that was not my worry now look when we find serta we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife sinmara Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh, my. Apologies. I have some doubts regarding negotiations with Rasvelker and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, he wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. to see the forge. Heads up! It avoids every attack! I wonder if they saw their prophecy. 
They decided to isolate themselves in their home realms to fight it. Understandable. Hopefully they'll understand why Ragnarok needs to happen now. Out go! Look, over there. I think the forge might be back to Lava Fall. You know this. Uh hunch. When I was here before, I got a pretty good feel for the layout. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready. Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're gonna feel about it now. You would try to force these primordial beings into submission? Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? <laughs> Through the broken gate. I think we're close. Gotta be him. We will ask. <laughs> Hello, Sarger. Well, either it isn't him or he's ignoring us. Come on. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that wasn't... We deal with these first. How come? said we need him I won't help you who are you who you seek, and what's left of him. Why won't you help us? I don't want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. Not her heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. 
But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. And Odin will succeed. And all realms save Asgard will fall. Yeah, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? fire in those. They are not of these lands. Shouldn't matter. <sighs> yeah. That could work. What could? Put those in here. And I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved. At all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. You sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me. Place where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this, huh? Whoa. Uh, Serger? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this? Spark of the world. Magic, primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get big, smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Dunno. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn, right? Yeah. Then we're good. So, here it is. The spark of the world. This is beautiful. I'll meet you across. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Gjallorhn. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that, too. This is it. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It'd hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes... ...loving someone is about... ...choosing... ...the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. Promise... ...you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter. 
Is stabbing you with the blades gonna be enough to create this new you? Simar's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. Oh! <laughs> 
Get away from him! way back from there. It worked. I, I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win! Thor was right. Groa failed to predict what we'd sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. Strength grows. Hey, check out that cliff. The earthquake must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. Ah! Oh, they don't, they don't More of Odin's forces. <laughs> trying to finish the job without restarting. Is that my fault? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> so, you fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. place is going to fall apart if those keep happening. You're quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. Sigil arrows can break through their shields! Anything 
else shows up. The gate is just through this crack in the rocks when you're ready. Father, I know we're doing the right thing. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It will only get higher. It'll be worth it. Brothers, how did it go? And yet, the usefulness to a certain Vanya Nupti did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? This is it then, the beginning of the end. The end for Odin, and after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know, I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite? They have to, after everything they've been through. They have to, don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time. <laughs> Father, I'm worried about Thor. Why? Last time you fought, you couldn't beat him. What happens when we meet him again? What'll be different from last time? Last time, you were not with me. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> okay, ready when you are. All the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No, Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hilda Sfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that... Why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... ...alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Mimir. Please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion, a siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors, I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. 
Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just sleep on it. Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Hildy. Come join us. Have a seat. Together, we took them all down. There must have been a hundred. I don't know, maybe more. Spare us your gloating. Does it really bother you that some of my ideas actually work? No, but... I do envy you. <laughs> In what realm? Spare me the patronizing. I've calculated every risk I've ever taken. Tried to mitigate all the ways it could go wrong, and still... It all falls apart. You, you just throw yourself into situations in harm's way, and somehow it always works out for you. You always end up all right with that stupid grin. I'd argue my trip to Asgard didn't go quite so well. Yes, there are some lessons to be learned by planning, and others by learning to adapt. That's why you choose such a great team. I'd argue it's because we had such a lousy old man. Son. It's true Njord was not much of a father. But he's the reason we were able to be a family. Yeah, funny you should be so hard on him, Freyr, since you inherited his wanderlust. Especially in times of importance. That's not true. I had good reason for leaving those times. Tell her. Ah, I have missed this. My apologies, but... I would like to be alone with my thoughts. We will leave you to them then. Oh, hey. Is it okay if I just hang out here for now? Nothing's wrong. I just want to be alone. And think. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Yet do I may have lost a step. Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I could never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight?
You must quiet your mind. I can't. Then I will tell you a story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, he, He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? <sighs> Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet? I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? <laughs> In my 
my land. We entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you not? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Say, do you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. To grieve deeply is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. We'd hope to fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. 
I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. good place right now but who is i'm sorry lunda i know you and bro just tell me you're gonna get odin tell me whatever it takes you're not letting that bastard walk away from this he will not damn right and if in the process you happen to tear him a bucket load of new holes in places he don't want them i'll be rightly obliged General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, might as well be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock.
The Muspelheim Tower has fallen. And if Odin goes after Niflheim next... They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. We've got to stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. Got work to do. You three, follow. Atreus. Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. This way! City with our allies. Sounds desperate. Good. Desperation is our advantage. Would have preferred a realm destroying fire giant, but I suppose desperation is better than nothing. Was that? It was. Odin's new Valkyrie Queen is gone. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Alpha. Focus up! Yes. You'll keep Thor busy at least. They 
They sound eager. Good. Oh, no! Damn it! Keep moving! At least that army is already dead. We're getting nowhere! The aid Harrier returned from Valhalla as quickly as we kill them! There goes the Alphite reinforcements! We are running out of armies. Looks like the Giant Giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh... Uh, never mind, later. The Ain Herjars link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. There's still no sign of the corpse. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Rally all you can. We will make for this funnel of Hunt Tower. It is better this way. Better for who? The dwarves are here. Way to go, Sindri. Ah, it's just Sindri. I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Sindri! We... Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you push them. We must turn them on the floor. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giants. Father, shoot straight! Careful, brother. You're covered in bypass. what you wanted I, I didn't want this no close your heart to it close your heart who are they my guardians Odin took them in they shouldn't be here they're not soldiers Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What are you doing? 
listen closely. You feel their pain because that is who you are. And you must never sacrifice that. Never. Not for anyone. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today, sir. Today, we will be better. But what can we do? You see the size of that thing? I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we... We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Fred and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! No! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. Can I just say? No, you can't. Shut up and fight. I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. You really had me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. Sentry, go! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Skjolder okay? Have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us. Knowing they can't fight, their deaths are just meant to slow us down. 
Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. The Guardians. Your friend. Our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it... It has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? Thrude. I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? But our family. Without Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. <sighs> you don't owe him your death. <laughs> no shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally.
The Great Lodge. That's where we gotta go. That may not be our biggest problem right now. Hold it, Dagger! Get back to your sister. You must hold back Ragnarok. This fight is mine. But if I could just... Take Atreus in the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you. So I trust you. Get away from her! Dad, wait! I am done! With you and your son! No more fucking games! And this time, I'm allowed to kill you. You do not need to do this! We do! Won't be enough! The life seems to think you've changed! Prove it and kill them! Okay, no. Wait and die! I can take it! And you! Let go! Get it? Not Shut the fuck up! 
Try to hurt her. I would not. Don't you know what I've done? Yes. But what will you do now? We don't change. We are destroyers. No more. No more. For the sake of our children, we must be better. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk. You don't think. I think you kill. It's a simple fucking concept. Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill. I didn't want this. I did not want this. No! Dude, this was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. Do you know, son? You're a granddad! Why? Drill's gonna be fine. No. I think. her. Uh, that uh, one's on you. You turned him against me. You turned them all against me. Oh, 
shield if you're not going to use it. Oh, enough. Oh. Was this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Oh, oh. What? Not quite yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore! <laughs> That's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. Oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You know. You've never loved anyone! We'll You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Roa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on the mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation, unfold. The secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. to be nothing! So be it. Attack! You've waited a long time for this, haven't you, Frig? So have I! Too late for that! Oh. 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 Oh! No! Uh. 
for. Everything I've killed before. I just wanted answers. our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apfra, Desu. Sofna. 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 I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters.
Captain's Ragnarok. He's here. Time to go. Go where exactly? You didn't exit? How? It's giant stuff. Okay, follow me. Quickly. Don't be afraid. No matter what happens, I'll be with you. But your path is your own. Follow it, and you'll end up right where you're supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. Ah. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Herr. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Ash. Throat. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried. You know? I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort and knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, it was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim to help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and through. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Were either of your weapons damaged in the battle? I think they're fine. Maybe a couple nicks here and there. Well, we can have a look at that later. Huh. Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent... Skilder? She... Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just... I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just... Happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. 
We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyer fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh. When we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man. But the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are gonna make me start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you! Y'all remember that time on walked near home fire? I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya, it was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior. But even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh. What else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me mentored me and well you're basically another dad to me what no i need you to hear it i appreciate you so much ah. i love you too little brother see him amir it's good to see you about atreus you too hildas vini saving us. I decided it would be better if I would be ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. 
Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back, so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people to protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there, and I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but they're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son. You are ready. Remember our promise.
care of everyone. What did you see in there, brother? see to it together
Ah, uh, Freya. We should probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she finds us. And another one for the big boy himself. Skull! Skull! Skull. Hold a few dozen for cap. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. Where to first? We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfheim. I'd like to go. It's strange. There are still signs of the World Serpent all over the lake. But we saw him disappear at Ragnarok. That could only mean the legend was true <laughs> all along. That blow from Thor sent Jormungandr straight back in time. A younger Jormi, fresh from Jotunheim, would grow into the serpent we know. When we first met the snake, you said that he found a trace familiar. Perhaps they met in Jotunheim. Perhaps so, brother. We'll have to ask the lad for that story when we next see him. What's in Svartalfheim? The realm has need of us. The lost spirits of the Alberic Isles still haven't been put to rest. Lead the way. Alternate lyrics to my back. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> one. He taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. God, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. Wrong. 
I should have changed. Sewn some morning garb. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. So, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin. Sentry. Black was.
gets bigger, the more you take away. <laughs>